So you can tell it's holiday time out there, folks, because if you're on social media of any type, any kind, Facebook, Instagram, anything like that, you're getting all these ads and everything else. If you're on YouTube, you see ads on videos and all this, and it's all these different freeze-dried food companies pushing their products to you, and they want you to buy them, and they want to give you a great deal on one of their products for 72-hour food supply. But is it worth it? Can you do better? And can you build a 72-hour supply kit that you can put in what you want? And this way here, you'll get meat in your 72-hour supply kit. So welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And on today's video, we're going to be covering the difference between buying it and making it yourself. Kind of kind of like, you know, like a DIY type video, okay? But first of all, we're going to cover what you can get out there and what you're seeing advertised that's being thrown on all your social media and YouTube and everywhere else. You might even be getting flyers in the mail. I have. Let's just get going on some of that. Stuff. So we're going to start right off. Augustine's Farms, their 72-hour, one-person emergency food supply kit. It says four pounds. You get two maple brown sugar oatmeal, one creamy potato soup, one creamy chicken flavored rice, one hearty vegetable chicken flavored soup, and one banana chip. You get all that for $22.99 plus shipping and handling. Well, doesn't seem too bad now, does it? But did you notice there's something missing there, folks? What do you think that might be? What's just missing out of that? Well, let's let's keep going here. So Ready Wise, they have one. All right, they got their little Christmas specials going just like everybody else does. This is a 72-hour food and drink supply kit. You get one pouch of cheesy macaroni and cheese, one pouch of teriyaki rice, one pouch of hearty tortilla soup, two pouches of brown sugar and maple grain cereal, and one pouch of whey milk. And that is $39.99 plus shipping and handling. Okay, now we're gonna move over here, which I have one of these to demonstrate for you. Patriot Foods, now I like these, I like Wise. I'm not knocking any of these companies whatsoever, but what I want to do is, I want to make sure that you understand something here, that you can probably build something on your own if you just take a little time, a little investigating, catch them some sales, and have the proper way to store it. And we're going to get into that. But right now we're talking about four Patriots. In this little bag here, as you can see, it says it's the 72 hour. Survival food kit. So, you get creamy rice and vegetable dinner. All right? You get your grandma's sweet oatmeal. Okay? And, as everybody else does, your American's finest mac and cheese. Now these three things right here will cost you $27 plus shipping and handling. Now, the one thing I will say with Patriot, when I did buy this, it was buy one, get one. Sometimes they run these offers and sales and you might actually see those on some of your, your Facebook, YouTube videos and all this kind of good stuff, your, your social media. They do run different sales. So if you got two of these, if you bought one, got one free, this would probably be a pretty good deal. Just for a little bit of a backup. Like I said, that's $27 plus shipping and handling. Now let's just kick it up a notch because me, you know, a lot of this is for like one person. So you got to buy how many? Exactly. So Legacy, they have a 32 serving, 72 hour family 
emergency food supply kit. And this, you get pasta, you get pasta alfredo, you get cheese and broccoli bake, you get enchilada, beans and rice, you get classic chili, creamy potato soup, stroganoff, and cheesy and broccoli soup. Now all those will cost you $92 plus your shipping and handling. And it is not buy one, get one. So you're looking over a hundred bucks just for that. Now let's move on over and try and see what we can do ourselves. What do you think that might be people? We're going to show you next. Okay, so how do we build our own 72 hour supply kit and what can we put in it? Well, you can put in it just about anything that you like to eat and you can put in it enough to feed a family for 72 hours. A heck of a lot cheaper than doing it that way by buying freeze dried foods and everything else. Now, like I said before, I'm sure a lot of those products are all great and fine and dandy in emergency type situations, but if you want to build your own, well, what do you need? First off, you need a good old bucket. Any kind of bucket will do, as long as you have a lid. You will need a handy dandy little lid puller, $1.99. And you will need either a hammer or I prefer a rubber mallet. You can pick up a rubber mallet. I've seen them in a dollar store. But you can pick up a rubber mallet, you know, they ain't that expensive, five, six, six bucks. And more likely, you have a regular hammer laying around in your house, in your little toolbox, or in your tools and stuff out in the garage, which will work just fine to put the lid on. So this is my 72 hour emergency food supply kit. Now I have already taken and loosened the lid with the handy dandy lid puller. Now, as you can see, I'm going to set this right up here. We can move the rubber mallet because we're not going to need that. You all can see this. This is what is in here. All right. We got breakfast. All right. We have Quaker oatmeal. We have pancakes, corned beef hash, and a dak ham. Yeah, pretty good. Lunch, we have two cans of beefaroni. We have two cans of uh, Vienna sausages. We also do have sardines, tuna fish, and chicken breast. Okay, dinner. We have cornmeal. We have pasta and shells. We have roast beef. We have corn, spam, Carrots, green beans, potatoes, canned potatoes. We do carry in here one Mountain House uh, chicken teriyaki for like an emergency type situation. There is butter, dried milk, salt, paprika, and adobo. All in this bucket right here. Now, just so you can see, one Mountain House for just an emergency type situation. Pasta shells. Make our own pastas, all right? Cornmeal, all right? You can make cornmeal, you can make, there's all types of things you can do with cornmeal. If you had caught fish or something like that, you could take and bread them in cornmeal, fry them up and boom, you're good to go. You can make cornmeal muffins, which is very simple. Whatever you need to do, all right? We have dried milk. There's enough there for a gallon of milk, right there. All right, continue on. We have pancakes. Now what I do is, I put right on the outside of the pancakes. Serving sizes, calories per serving, the whole nine yards. You don't have to do that, but you can. All right, what else is in here? It's like Christmas time, unloading your stocking. You know what I mean? It's like, whoa, Quaker Oats. Wrote the directions and everything right on the outside. This way here, if anybody opened this up and they wanted to make them, they know how to make them. Half a cup of oats, one cup of water, and a pinch of salt. 
we're all done. Now, canned goods. Check out what I got in this thing. There's a deck ham. Vienna sausages, two cans of those. All right. Sliced potatoes. You'd be amazed what you can pack in here. Sliced potatoes, corn, carrots, pack of sardines, spam, everybody's favorite. Can't have spam in a 72 hour. I mean, come on, you, you gotta have. Everybody's favorite, corned beef hash. Other I know there's a few people out there, especially one of you, that really love that. Green beans, beefaroni, more beefaroni, butter. There's more. Can you believe that there's more in this bucket? I mean, look what you can do. It's just amazing. Just think outside the box. Chicken, tuna fish, roast beef, and three packs of seasoning. Adobo, pepper, and the salt went south on me here. And salt. And that all fit into that bucket, people. Can you believe that? See how easy that was? That is so easy. Anybody out there can do it. You can take and you can build your own food supply for half the cost of what it would cost you for something to feed your own family. And you're gonna get a lot of meals out of this. You could stretch this out for longer than 72 hours. If you really wanted to really get creative and make some decent meals, I would say the food that you see on this table right here could easily, easily last you for at least four days, easily. Now you have to get creative. Everybody can't eat like pigs. <laughs> it's an emergency situation. So you kind of have to ration things a little, but you can make it happen at a lot lesser cost, in which I'm trying to save you money and show you that all this can go into this little bucket. And you just write on the outside, just like I did here. Great, what you got? I even put expiration dates over here so I have an idea. Even though I do know that all this stuff will last longer than these dates that are listed. But it tells me exactly what the dates are on all these products. Very simple to do. That probably took me a total of about 10 minutes to write everything out and look at the cans and put down their dates. Very simple, very easy, anybody can do it. Right now is a great time and you have a great opportunity to to get out, get to the stores, get in there because it is the holiday season. I keep telling you people this in a lot of my videos right now. It's the holiday season. If people have said products on the shelves, things are starting to go to the wayside again because it's the holiday season and everything else. And on top of, with, you know, the whole Charlie Victor 19 thing with, you know, everything else is thrown in there. Who knows, if it's available on the shelves and you go into the stores, start to use your head and think, and you can build your own 72 hour supply kit, which I'm pretty sure this would be like a 96 hour supply kit at the minimum for half the price that you're gonna pay for anything else. So you look at your 72 hour food kit here, in which you get three products. Now, in my opinion, this would probably last you, if you're lucky, 48 hours. And that's ration. This, 96. Easy. So the moral of the story is, you people gotta get out there. Get your flyers, go online. Check out the computer. Check out all your stores that are around you. See who's got the good deal. And hit those stores up and see if you can score up some bonus. Save yourself some money. That's what this is all about. This is survival preparedness for beginners. And if you're beginning right now, things are tough. People are out of work. People don't have a lot of money. It's Christmas time. People are having to make decisions on whether to buy and stock up on food or how they're going to feed their family and if they're going to buy Christmas presents for their kids. It's a very sad thing. And I don't mean to bring anybody down, but let's face it, folks. It's reality. So, if you can get out there, and if you're worried about what may be coming January, February, when everything really gets going, and everything hits the fan, if you know what I mean, as you can see, you can put all this in your little book. Amazing, isn't it? This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I hope everybody got something really good out of this to show you what you can do. Just doing a little bit of homework, research, and going out and buying your own products 
and making your own 72-hour kit, possibly even a 96-hour kit, fit into one buck. Very simple, very easy. So until next time, keep prepping, folks. Keep your eye on the ball, and I'll catch you on the flip side. And something to remember also, when you're buying these, there's no meat involved. There's no meat in these products. Yes, these things will last 25 years, guaranteed. But a lot of this would also last for quite a while. Maybe not 25 years. Your Marlar bags and Mountain House, yes, those will probably last 25 years. Your canned goods, well, that's a little bit debatable. I'd say this would last you a good, if you store it properly, a good anywhere between five to 10 years, hands down. So there you go.